Today I'll be showing you how to use a spectrophotometer and how to do absorbent spectroscopy. So in our particular lab, we'll be using this model, which we call the Spectronic 200. We also call it a Spec 20 or just a Spec, but they all mean the same thing. So our spectrophotometer measures absorbance in the visible range of light. So that means your samples will be colored most of the time. So to begin operation, all you have to do is plug it in first and then reach for the back and find the switch to turn it on. To measure samples in the spectrophotometer, you will be using cuvettes. Every type of cuvette is different, so make sure you understand the one, the one you'll be using in your lab. In this lab, we'll be using plastic disposable cuvettes. So when you are done with them, you can throw them away. Our cuvettes will be clear on all four sides. However, the front will have an arrow on the front. This arrow means that when you put it in the spectrophotometer, you can always orient them so that they'll be facing the same direction every time. In order to prepare your samples, you will always need a blank. Depending on your application or your experiment, the blank will be different. In our case, we will be using distilled water as our blank. Fill your cuvette with water for the blank, and you may be able to see air bubbles in there. To remove these air bubbles, gently tap on the bench until most of the bubbles have dislodged, because this will affect the readings. After that, you can prepare your samples accordingly, and again, make sure you tap them before you put them in the spectrophotometer. Once you have all your samples ready, you can begin to measure them. All right, to operate a spectrophotometer, make sure it's plugged in, and after plugging it in, locate the main switch on the back of the instrument and turn it on. First, a startup screen will show, and this is the process of initialization. So follow the instructions on the screen. First, it will ask you to make sure that the compartment is empty. If it is not empty, empty it. And if once it is, close the compartment and hit enter, which is this button here. Now, during the initialization process, it's very important that you keep the compartment closed at all time until the process is complete. As it goes through the different steps, each step will be highlighted green. Once the initialization process is complete, you will see the home menu. At this point, this is where you can adjust the wavelength of the instrument to analyze the sample of interest. To adjust the wavelength, make sure the first option is highlighted in red, and then to open it, hit the enter button. Now scroll down and highlight the measurement lambda option. Once it's highlighted, this is where you can adjust the wavelength, and you do that using this dial with the lambda marking on it. For this particular application, we'll be using a wavelength of 686 nanometers. The dial will adjust in 10 nanometer increments, for fine-tuning adjustment, use the left and right arrow keys. Once it's been set to the wavelength of interest, scroll down until the go is highlighted in green. To enter this wavelength, hit the enter button. Now your instrument is tuned to 686 nanometers, which is in the red region of light. Once you're ready to measure your samples, start with the blank. Take your blank, and before you put it in, make sure you understand which way the path of light is orientated in the instrument. 
In our particular instrument, the path of light will be going in this direction. So you want to orientate your cuvette so that the light is going through the clear sides of the cuvette. Once you've understood which way is the clear sides, take a chem wipe and just wipe down the outsides to make sure there's no dust obstructing the clear windows of your cuvette or this will affect your results. Once you are ready to put the cuvette into your instrument, just open the compartment. There'll be a square holder for your square cuvette. Press your cuvette all the way down and close the compartment. This is our blank, so the first thing you want to do is to find the button that says 0.00, .00 which is the blank button. Press it and the instrument will now say performing auto zero. Wait at this point. Once the display reads zero and it is flashing, it means the reading is complete. Now you can open the compartment, remove your blank, and put your next sample in. Close the compartment and just wait for the reading to stabilize. Make sure, that the, make sure that the numbers are always flashing, which means it's reading in real time. If it is not flashing, press the enter button. If it is not flashing, make sure you press the enter button until it is flashing, and then you can take the reading. When you are done for the day, make sure you shut the instrument off properly. First of all, open the compartment and make sure that you have no cuvette and no sample on the inside of the compartment. Close the compartment, turn the instrument off from the back, and pull the plug out, and that's the shutdown procedure. Remember guys, safety first. Don't forget your goggles, lab coat, gloves, proper footwear. Common sense might be a good asset too. Before coming into lab, make sure you read your lab. And when in doubt, always, always, always consult your TA. See you next time.